Reserve time. Good mother. I'm not gonna get it right on my achievement, am I? Ooh, hello! Go sick, you gotta be careful that a tree and punch is like a truck. The temple. Tie blades. Rubik uh, went to behind the tier one tower on the top lane in the meantime. Fuck, just sent out his orb. They know this. They know that he doesn't have an orb right now. They see him. They can punch him. He's got his face shift available that he can still use. Maybe to buy some time until Sand King is here. But I don't think Ghost is going to make it out alive regardless. One more hit is needed. He can able to. He can jump himself forward. First blood still goes the way of the Venomancer. But Tree and Protector dies as well. As does the Rubik. Courtesy of uh, Roger rotating out. But the first blood still goes. And I meet them after life. Uh, if you compare him to the Puck, he's, uh, he's doing quite okay. He's got 16 last hits. Compared to the Pucks 9. It's uh, pretty good indeed. Level 4 for both of them. Uh, a little bit ahead for for Afterlife right now. But uh, nothing notable to meet in the mid lane. TA is not going to make it out of that one. With Ancient Deparation rotating mid. Whoops. Detours. Uh, but uh, a good rotation. Not too long of a cooldown. But it's still long enough to be considered a little bit of a victory. Roger is going to take some harassment. But nothing more than that. And he's actually going to get way more than that. As... Uh, Roger get some help from Chappie to try and take down a lot of ancients actually. FN getting a bit of a, a boost in gold. He's on top of the net worth together with the Venomancer. Still though, both TA and uh, Veno and Brute Mother and Sven around the same time. Mm -hmm. What? Tree and please, what you doing there, buddy? He's level three. Find himself a Sven. Sven just easily kills him. That was really there was there was no challenge in that. That was just easy pickings. Burrow strike hits uh, with the cold feet as well, and that is a dead earth shaker. And as we mentioned in the game before this, maybe in game before that one. No, it was the game before this. Sand King and Age of Deparation in combination with each other is uh, a great combination to have. Chappie also gets an easy kill there on the Rubik. Of doing that with your Venom wards. Venom in the meantime, he himself is on the bottom lane. This Ven, a bit of a problem right there. He does turn on his God Strength. He looks like he wants to fight. He might be able to turn around on the Venomancer. Venomancer is taking a lot of damage from the Epicenter and from the Ice Blast. The Ice Blast actually ticked off on three people. It's already off right now, but everybody's taking so much damage. Double kill coming out from a Pashka is now Rubik in a bit of a trouble here. Gosik one hit away from dying. He does end up dropping, but Silent will pay for that as it's life. Four for two. It's an interesting choice because generally you want to build an Orchid, especially when you're up against Sand King, then at least you can kill off Sand King as well. Dream Coil coming out on Treant and Veno. Can they kill him off? In comes the Overgrowth. The Treant will still die, but the Overgrowth might be enough to let uh, Loa Dance escape. Doesn't seem to be the case. Not with FN coming in with the Sun as well. Look at how much damage he's taken. Ooh, Rubik. Rubik, you shouldn't be there. So you're dead. That's not good. You can't, you can't go there. You can't try and save or support. You can't try and save. Like actually, he was trying to save Venomancer, but at this point, he's not worth saving yet. That was uh, that was a bit of a misplay there as well. And the Empire is definitely um, leaps and bounds ahead right now compared to Vega Squadron. 4k in 13 minutes. Ah, uh, that's that's a tough one to come back from for Vega Squadron. Yeah, he does. He was not sure either. I think. He got a Roshan taken by Vega Squadron. But this is something the Empire knows. They got the the the, the spider is there. Sand King. Oh, overgrowth. Can't come in with a burrow strike right now. Aegis taken by G. Poison over coming out as well. But where's the enemies? Did anybody get hit by the Oh, Aegis operation. That's, that's going to be the Aegis already burnt down. Chappy actually thinking about going in here. Where's that Sven? He looks to be going as well. Gets interrupted before throwing out the stun. So at least they don't get that. But he still has the stun to get a stun upon the temporary assassin who just got back alive. And they get two kills with that as well. Tree and dying as well. Or Shaker. He bought back. I'm not sure if that's the right play right here. But they still want to get a comeback kill. If they can find the Sven, that would be really nice for them. But I wouldn't bet on it as they can just still turn around and try to... Never mind. And try to take some kills in return, I was going to say. But not gonna happen. Earthshaker also able to just stop this ancient operation from going in as Afterlife has got that Blink Dagger. So they managed to take them down the Sven and the ancient... 
Let's see. The Gale did hit. It's done as well. Venom answered. Silenced up and killed off. Doesn't really get anything done anymore. Neither does Rubik. And the tier 1 tower. Fortified for now, but um, not going to be a living for very much longer. That, that's that's too easy pickups. Nobody else could come in range in time. And of course, the Puck Silence helping out a lot with that as well. Oh, hello. Sand King is the one with the gem, so this tree doesn't last long either. Empire seems to kind of be uh, at a point where it's like, okay, you know, we got our BKBs, we're done farming, let's go. And now mid they run, they don't even see got the Desu in the blink. She's teleporting top, see if she can find the Sven kill. I mean, that's a risky one. Tree is trying to catch up, but ended up just TA farming instead, which is, I mean, that's fine too, but. At this point, you kind of want to get the pick off so that your enemy team doesn't get a chance to... Oh, doesn't get a chance to push, I was going to say. Perhaps they can still do this. Oh, the lift comes up as well. He comes TA. Now with the damage, the Gale as well. Ghost Rank tier none. He's looking for targets. He finds a target in the Rubik. Nobody dares come close to him. And this tree, and he feels the wrath. Ail still falling through. This Templar Assassin still wants to maybe go for another target. If they could find a Sand King, they actually would have the gem. That would be amazing, but Sand King manages to blink himself out, and he is fine. I can't say the same for a Vega Squadron, though. The Echo Slam comes out, but it doesn't really do too much. Chappy, he's having a man fight here with Vega Squadron's G, and that is not a man fight you want to take. Sand King comes back in, and the gem gets dropped on the deck. Ancient Operation, he falls as well, and this fight is everything Vega Squadron could have hoped for. And more, they went back in. Just getting the Sven kill earlier on already was really great for them. That was a great fight, even with the Sand King escaping. And then Empire went back in, thinking they could do it, thinking they were further ahead than they actually were. Vega gets a Roshan off the back of that as well. They get the gem in their hands as Venomancer picked that one up. This fight's wide open again. Vega Squadron is back in it. The drop, I would imagine, is not fully complete because Yes, those skills are great. The Roshan is great. But all at all this time, looks like they do want to. Yes, here we go. Now they're picking on the Templar Assassin. Templar Assassin is the one with the Aegis. Fedomancer is close by though. They also have the Tree Protector fairly close by. Templar Assassin has already blinked out. And they find the Venomancer instead. Well, Venomancer will die. Ooh, he had the cheese. Still gets the ultimate off. Overgrowth as well. He's alive for the moment. Is there anything else? The BKBs are about to run out. They still catch the Venomancer. Tree Protector. Bro struck and dead. This is the bright side for Vega. And it's going towards the target. Or towards the area where they last saw some heroes. There's a tree protector that is pretending to be a warden. Uh, he's gonna top off the smoke. <laughs> they know exactly where he is. Uh, Sun King has a new ward, a new gem. Or Puck has a new gem, that is. Ooh! Echo Slam though! And that is a dead Puck! That is a new gem on the floor, on the deck! This Brute Brother is having a tough spot right now. He's trying to run away, but you can't run from the Templar Assassin. G is just standing there holding his ground. Now going toe-to-toe -to -toe with FN. FN decides to go for the supports first. Wise choice. Because you're not going to get G right now, but the support has a Yule Scepter. You can't kill him either. This Ancient Operation, he is done for two esports. G, well, esports bet G is able to get a rampage off of that fight. Did they see the gem? Important things first. They did! Back in the targets. Ooh, Venom Wards. Doesn't see Maporska. No, there's someone there. Ooh, hello! And that's a dead Venom answer. Not able to do anything there, but at least they get a Sand King as well. Nice Dream Quill. Chappy. Realizes he might be into deep, but he manages to catch off the, the uh, Treant before doing anything else. Echo Slam still uh, helps killing off. Run when you see Templar Assassin with a double damage rune. It's just too scary. Nice ancient operation ulti though, that might actually kill off silence. What level is that? Level 2. Ooh. I'm not actually sure if that would kill off silence, I don't think it does. He still has a glimmer cape as well, after all. Ages. They, c they can't afford to, to miss the farm that it brings. Obviously after you have super creeps, uh, super creeps only give half gold of the normal ones. But that's already, that's already the rage racks, come on you guys, you gotta go! I mean, no, it's a Venomancer with an Aegis, and you don't really want to jump in on him, but you gotta go at some point, and here they go. In comes the Fisher, that's a Sand King in a lot of trouble, gets forced up into safety. For the moment, he's okay. Sven, looking for a target. Get the Poison Nova. This uh, Venomancer is still in very deep, but still with an Aegis. Nice overgrowth. They're actually going for FN right here, and FN can't do anything. Return FN dies, and he does not have buyback. No buyback for him. Spider down as well. Beyond Godlike Templar Assassin, GG gets called, Vega Squadron is victorious. And it is Empire that have another loss to their name.
Empire. I say another loss, uh, a loss to their name. Ooh, I just saw that uh, that a 